Okay, this is my Markworks Equatorian. This is the sheet that comes with. I really got to be honest with you. And the only letdown I really have on this knife is this sheet. This thing comes up. I carry my phone or a pistol mag or something in there. And this thing just keeps coming up. It catches on stuff when you're walking through the brush. Because it doesn't, just doesn't stop. I mean, look how easy it is for me to pull it. When you're walking around with it, it really, it really just starts coming up. Also, I'll address this in a minute, but I had to zip tie this in, which is the the plastic lining inside the sheath. It just kept coming out with the knife. I know that's a tie around your leg strap, but it's got a spot to put one of those through. I know it's that's uh, so that you can attach it to a leg strap. So this is this just uh, it's either unnecessary or just poorly designed. Uh, it's only got one retention. This is it. Now this is my preference in retentions, but I don't know. I just I wish they made the liner just better than a piece of rollover plastic. I mean, for a five hundred dollar knife, I really I just expect more sheath, more sheath or no sheath. If they're gonna do no sheath, they should do what Bussy does, which is just put a whole bunch of you know sheath makers on their site so that you can find a sheath, a good sheath. I mean, don't get me wrong. This sheath isn't all bad. It's Durable is all good. I mean, it's like a sledgehammer. Not that particularly good looking, but boy, it don't break, really. It doesn't break. It's just that's really irritating. Having to put that zip tie in there was irritating. You can do a second retention in there. And it's got some mounting options, which are nice as well. So, I mean, it's not all bad. But, no, I'm just a little let down. Right, but, anyway... This is my Markworks Equatorian. You can see it written on there. It is uh, double sided. And uh, this one's made out of, I bought the upgrade for the S30V steel. So that it would be corrosion resistant and have better edge retention. It's supposed to be better edge retention than a 440. Y'all know about steel, but it's not supposed to really hold an edge anywhere near as well as empty steel like Bussy makes or you know but I gotta be honest with you it is more ergonomic than my Bussy this chili handle which is what they call it it's made out of micarta it's supposed to be real good for the grip it is it is real nice to hold real easy to hold real ergonomic to hold if you gotta do a lot with it it presents a real good way to, you know it doesn't slip it doesn't move it's just it feels pretty good to the hand I love these grooves they got up there for your thumb so that your thumb doesn't slip. like that too. That's real nice. Uh, it is Micarta. It's green. I'm not a big fan of green handles, but it's what it came with. And I didn't really want to try a special order or anything. Green's not bad. I just It's not a preference, but that's okay with me. I had a local guy sharpen it. Don't get me wrong. It came. It was relatively sharp. But now, it's just it really wasn't sharp enough for what I want to do with it. So I had a local guy sharpening, and this is, I mean, it, it's a bunch sharper now than it was, that's for sure. So, it's, I gotta be honest with you, for $6 sharpening, and find somebody who will do a $6 sharpening that won't just throw it on a dang belt and start messing up the metal on the knife. That's the trick. You don't want anybody going to try to rush it. You want somebody who's going to take their time with it, not heat up the metal too much. And uh, and there's there's a couple of places you can go to. The guy in Austin, he's pretty good. Uh, but it's it's a real nice knife. It's got a, a couple of nice features. Everything they list on the side is a feature. It's true. It's to spec. It is quarter inch thick, 0.25 inches. Um, S30V is supposed to be real corrosion resistant. So that's nice for a survival knife. Wish I got the longer, the longer blade, the Goliath. But then again, it would be less useful. Be like all my other ones that are just huge survival knives, and I can't do anything. I use this one for hunting, so I can, you know, cut into the bone with the back, not dull the front. Just use the front for more delicate work, like removing the skin from the deer and. And stuff. I actually haven't used this one yet, but that's what I use most of my double-sided knives for. I like the option to always keep one edge perfectly pristine for slicing. Uh, but all in all, it's it's 
It's a real nice knife. If you want me to make some videos of this one in comparison to my Bussy knives, doing things like chopping, cutting, age retention. I won't do corrosion resistance because I don't want to get any rust anywhere near my knives. But I will check out all of those. You know, if you want to, if you want to see me, you want me to make some videos of that, subscribe or leave me some comments. We'll see. See what happens. And, um, I think that's just about going to cover it. But it is the Merkworks Equatorian. It is pretty nice. It's supposed to hold an edge pretty well. I haven't dulled it. I haven't done any real hard cutting with it. I, like I said, I've carried it while I'm hunting, but, you know, mostly I just I don't do much. <laughs> I just haven't had a chance to really do much with it. I've usually got one of my other knives around with me as well. So, but thanks for watching, and like I said, subscribe or leave me some comments. You want to see this one in comparison to my bussy knives on edge retention, chopping power, just general knife stuff that you put a knife through. And thank you a bunch.